Today we're back to checking out updates on the Rust Cosmic Desktop. There's a lot to cover today as the April Tools blog has been released. They're hammering out new features and focusing on quality of life improvements. We can start by talking about updates to Pop OS 22.04. What a lot of people don't realize is when using Pop OS, even though they're following Ubuntu's release cycle, they keep the core technologies updated at a semi-rolling release basis. That means that they're updating the kernel more often so they can have better driver support, as said here, for such things as the Intel XE and Intel Arc graphics drivers, but this helps them run newer hardware like their new Lemur Pro, which is running Pop! OS on the new line of Ultra series processors. As we can see here, the Lemur Pro has up to a 12 core Intel Ultra 5 or 7 CPU, 14 hours of battery life, up to eight terabytes of NVMe storage, 56 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and a 16:10 ratio, 1200p matte display. Definitely check this out as it's a newer offering from System76. Not only are they great at software, but they're fantastic at hardware. Anyways, moving on, they did see a significant performance boost on the 6.6 .6 kernel and are testing out the 6.8 kernel. And now we're here for more updates on the Cosmic Pre-Alpha. So let's get into things as updates have been showing up across the desktop environment. One thing that's great is now you can move a window anywhere with the super key and there's more notifications and sound alerts on AC hot plug and low battery conditions. So not only are we receiving updates to the OSDs up top, but we are receiving updates to wonderful applications such as the Cosmic Editor, which I've shown in previous videos, but I wanna go over real quick. I've opened up a couple projects on the left-hand side so you can see, and then if we want to save a document, let's just say Savvy Nick was here, just to make an edit here to a new document. Let's say I do wanna save this. I can do so with shortcut keys now, and I can type in a file name, I'm just gonna call it test. You can also put your extension in, so let's just make it a text file. Boom, we have it, and it is saved. You can also go through, and let's say you wanna make an edit to something. For example, I'm just gonna go in here, find something random, change some stuff around. You'll notice there's a dot telling you that there's unsaved changes. You can easily save them with shortcuts. You can go in, create a new file, new window entirely. And it's quite awesome how well this works at this point. The Cosmic Edit, I would say, is 99% there. The text has also been modified, so you can actually read things a lot easier. I love the default font here, and I love the coloring here as the syntax highlighting is working great. Definitely great updates to the Cosmic Editor. Overall, it looks great. You can hide things, that way we don't have cumbersome take up of the window itself. It defaults to making a new document and you have tabs where you can create multiple new documents. Every time you hit the plus button, that creates a brand new document for you that's unsaved. You can also just simply exit out and choose various different indentation styles with tab widths, however you like them, word wrapping, line numbers, highlighting the current line, and then of course, even more settings, including one that I like enabling the Vim bindings, which then you can use shortcuts that you would use in Vim also in Cosmic Editor. There's many, many different syntax light highlighting schemes, both for the dark and light, and then you can also select different themes that you can add yourself, and will come standard with the match desktop dark and light themes. Anyways, fantastic work here. Just wanted to cover a few brief updates with Cosmic Edit. Anyways, back to this, theming support has been added for app builds with the GTK, so your old apps will match theming support of the overall desktop environment. It doesn't have to be made inside of the Rust Cosmic desktop. It will match the appearance settings if it's turned on by the global theme option for the user, AKA you can keep them non-theme matching or theme matching. Just depends on how you like your particular applications and the divide of old and new. Anyways, fantastic picture here. You can also add custom icon themes now which will be both, again, applied to Cosmic and GTK applications as seen below, giving us a cohesive experience in this particular change we have, icon theme change to humanity. You can see that in the orange icons. Labeling has also been implemented for cycling between light mode and dark mode based on the time of day. Again, a ton of new improvements for quality of life. Now we're gonna talk about the new Cosmic App Store. What better way than to actually go and check it out ourselves? Let's go take a look at it live. I do like the store icon look down here at the bottom. I'm going to expand things so we can take focus here on how things look. You can hide the left-hand side. 
or search for anything that you need. And we can see we have multiple different categories on the left hand side, which help you filter out whatever you're trying to find. You can also always use the search bar. For example, if I wanted to search for Caden Live, a video editor, sure enough, it's available. What's nice about this is it's very clear what Caden Live is. It just tells you it's a video editor and you have two different versions of it, a source version from Ubuntu Jammy Universe repository and then flatback. So you see the name of the application, a brief description and what repository it's coming from. So if I wanted a flat pack, I could click on that or the source dev file over here. Anyways, when you click on it, this isn't necessarily the best example. You get a little bit more of a spelled out summary and then you can hit the install button to simply install it. Very minimal, beautiful, and I love what they've done with the tiles here that represent each application individually. Now, one thing I think could be improved a little better is there's just too many applications showing up all at once. Maybe another filtering system or at least making these tiles a little bigger so not as much shows up. If the developer has posted pictures, you can also scroll through those as well, such as for the GIMP tool that we can see here. Overall, if you wanted to get updates, it's very easy. You go down to updates, you can hit update all or update individual packages. Very well made. You also have installed apps so you can go through uninstall, install apps as necessary. So if I didn't want, let's say for example, calendar from GNOME, I can actually uninstall it or open it directly from here. Overall, this revamp of the Cosmic Store, in my opinion, looks great. It's easy to use and I'm excited to see it drop with the Cosmic Alpha. Let's continue on. Now that we've seen the new Cosmic App Store, we're gonna talk about simplified window movement. Dragging your cursor to a window's title bar to move it takes an unneeded level of precision to maintain focus as well as comfort on trackpad. Simply clicking any region of the window while holding super will allow dragging it to your preferred location and quickly getting back to your important task. A lot of quality of life improvements when it comes to window management, such as drag and drop features. And someone new has entered the ring. Ryan ABX or Ryan Brew has been developing and contributing to the Rust Cosmic desktop as well with third party applications. Let's check out some of this to see what kind of contributions have been made. So what we'll notice here at the bottom, you can see that there's previews available. This is something that I love, much like you would see in Windows 11, where you can highlight one of the currently opened apps at the bottom of your screen. It will show a thumbnail preview of what's currently active. So this is being worked on and implemented in an active top level click behavior for thumbnails by Ryan, and then a secondary tool that allows you to easily drag and drop your windows to very specific portions of the screen, which is actually already implemented into Pop! OS, but it makes it, again, sort of like snapping in windows. Another wonderful feature to have, drag regions for maximizing and half tiling. Love to see the community support and these third-party developers already working on Cosmic desktop improvements. Now we're going to talk about Cosmic Settings. The keyboard settings page has been implemented. This enables adding and reordering the session's keyboard input sources, such as language-specific layouts, regional layouts, or alternative layouts like Vorok. Furthermore, inputting special characters such as characters is also supported via an alternate character key, example, left alt plus C, or compose key, right alt, then S. Keyboard shortcuts are currently in progress. We can see here that we can select between the various different input sources, special character entries, keyboard shortcuts, and more. This is fantastic for us who are using different sets of keyboards or need different language support. You can also change what needs to be clicked in order to get alternate characters. Think about all the common compose combinations for special characters. Here's a good list of them right here on the compose key wiki. This is what this portion of the blog is discussing. Not only do they want to make this a wonderful desktop to use, but they also want to make it usable by everyone. The system's device name is now editable in the About Settings page using a new editable text input widget in LibCosmic. We can see here that you can make an edit by hitting the pencil and then changing the name. Meanwhile, the ability to reset dock and panel settings to default has also been added. Again, new OSD inputs, including power state alerts, on-screen displays, and then additional on-screen displays for brightness, volume, and airplane mode. They're complete now. Cosmic apps, including edit, terminal, and files, have received updates and been fine-tuned. Let's go check those out on the live system. All right, exiting out of the store, here's files for us. It's been a little while since we've checked this out. We have things like new tab, new window, new file, new folder. Again, very common across the board with all the apps. Edit, again, similar operations here. Then we have the grid view, list view, settings, and about 
Cosmic Files. I personally like the list view, and I like how it looks here with the dividers in between all the various different files and folders that are available currently in my home folder. I can even click the pencil so I can additionally go to different portions of the system. For example, I'm gonna hit desktop, and now it takes me to the desktop. On the left-hand side, I have different categories on my file system, including videos, section, pictures, music, downloads, documents, all for the home users, files, and desktop. You can also go to the trash bin, which is currently emptied. Let's see if it changes icons if we actually move something into the trash can. There we go, moved into the trash can, and now it is full over here on the top. I haven't seen it changed on the left-hand side, but things still seem to be a work in progress. It's pretty cool that the icons are changing as, as they are dynamically set. Moving on from here, I'm gonna take a brief look at the terminal. As you can tell here, we have tabs up top. Things look pretty great in my opinion. We can create new tabs pretty easily. We can also exit out. And personally, my favorite is when we're completely exited out, I do like how they hide the top tab bar or menu. This makes for a cleaner experience here when using the terminal on the Rust-based desktop. You also have options like creating a new tab, new window. Again, these are very similar across the board copy pasting, finding, and then extra view support with different color schemes and settings. Overall, things look great. Love the colors. They're subtle. We got green, blue, white, none of it overbearing. And at the top, it tells you where you're currently located. For example, just switched over to the desktop and now we see that we're in the desktop. You can easily create new tabs by just clicking up here on the top right. Again, you can exit out and clean things up real quick. Very good, they made great progress on the terminal. And if you've stuck around so far, make sure to smash that like button for me as we talk third-party contributions. The Cosmic community has been kicking space-themed Tuckus with their work. We talked about Ryan, who's been working on things like touchpad gestures, thumbnail previews, and a quick snap window. So here's a better picture of what I was showing earlier in the video. You can see that previews show up for the various different types of applications that you have opened up. For example, Firefox has three different windows opened on three different website pages, and it's very easy to see. Also, here when people are dragging and dropping windows, you can drag it to the side of the screen, you'll get a blue hint, and then you can release your mouse to actually snap to that portion of the screen. Here it is snapped. And then we are seeing also improvements through Cosmic Tasks, which Eduardo Flores is working on. It's looking great. Last time I did not get to build this for release, but I have in the meantime, and I gotta say it's working great. Super smooth, super easy to use. I also love the support that you have about just using the keyboard instead of having to use your mouse. Very easy to get around, add new tasks. There are also new clipboard manager features and fan control GUI by Wiznokes and not yet added, but there's emoji selector from Leb Kuchin. Plenty of compositor updates, including fixes to X Wayland, a new NVIDIA fix with the 555 driver, more reliable screen capture, support added for keyboard LEDs, touchscreen improvements, drag and resize window touch. Additional fixes and improvements include Cosmic Applets are now compiled as a multi-call binary. Drag and drop support has been implemented in ICE, LibCosmic, and Cosmic Files. Middle clicking an application in the apps list opens a new window. So preliminary performance uh, comparisons, though there's plenty of optimizations to be done. Cosmic pre-alpha compared to Pop OS 22.04 with GNOME. So far, the bench tests in Unigen, Superposition, Cyberpunk 2077 with both NVIDIA and AMD graphics are within 1% of FPS difference, which is amazing. There are going to be more updates made to this as there are more updates to be made and we're, and we're still in a pre-alpha state. So what does that mean for us? Well, looking at the Cosmic Epic 1, meaning the Alpha 1 release, we do have a few application bugs still left. There's also other desktop bugs to work out, about 34 of them. Alpha 1 features that need to be included before Alpha 1 can, can drop is about six. Things that are in progress are four. And then finally, a ton completed over 79 items for that Alpha 1 complete. So after we get a these four buckets, I believe, diminished, we'll be seeing that Alpha 1 release, hopefully soon here. But in the meantime, I am enjoying using this desktop environment for myself. I've been really playing around with things, and I love seeing how many people outside the team are starting to get involved in actually creating a more user-friendly experience. It just goes to show you how wonderful the desktop is to work with, as third-party developers are already starting to adopt it. Well, this has been a update video on Cosmic Rust desktop. If you enjoy these types of videos, think about subscribing below. 
hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.